Semantic Web Company developed two demonstrator systems to support the Alliance project's use cases. The first system is the RDF validation that can be used to ensure the data consistency of applications. The second system is the unified governance that consolidates software development's data into a unified RDF-based view. The RDF validation, which is based on RDF unit and integrated into the pool party product, is used to support data consistency for applications by providing constraint checks and repair strategies. It gives the users the possibility to identify and correct problems in their imported data and safely integrate it into the project. The unified governance is used to harvest data from the tools used in the pool party development lifecycle. The data is transformed into RDF and integrated using aligned vocabularies to create unified views for supporting the development process. The RDF validation can be used to check and repair data that we want to import into a pool party project. Data within pool party projects has to satisfy constraints for the application to work correctly. To ensure that the imported data does not violate these constraints, the RDF validation is used. If violations are found, the user has the possibility to apply repair strategies to correct the problems. First, we select a file containing RDF data that we want to import. The import is done to an intermediate store. The RDF validation shows a list of performed constraint checks. Here we can see the violations that occurred. By selecting a violation, we can view the details. We can then apply repair strategies depending on the constraint. After resolving all the constraint violations, it is now safe to store the data in the project. Unified governance is used to consolidate data of the pool party development lifecycle. Our software development uses Confluence and Jira for requirements and issue management. We consolidate the data from both sources by transforming it into RDF and integrating it using the aligned ontologies. Unified governance will support three use cases for the trials, searching the integrated RDF software development data, computing similarity for development artifacts, and statistical analysis of the software development process. The RDF integration is based on the DO and DOPP ontologies. This provides a unified view on the development data. An automatic extraction and transformation is done using the ETL tool Unified views to create an integrated RDF representation of the development data. The faceted search application offers a perfect way to drill down the data. For example, by a resolution type of the ticket or by the type of the ticket itself. The immediate results are shown here in the middle. Of course, much more facets are available in the Refine By section. Also, we have a visualization which dynamically updates based on the facets you select. More visualizations can be selected here. In the top search, we can take advantage of an autocomplete search, whereas the string that you search for checks if the label exists in the pool party thesaurus. If, for instance, the string does not exist, in the taxonomy, then we simply trigger a full text search with these results. In the graph search, you can use a more like this button in order to find similar documents. 
the similarity computation can be used to find corresponding requirements for JIRA issues for an automatic proposal of links between issues. It can also be used to detect duplicate JIRA issues and prevent the creation of duplicates. These graphs visualize statistics calculated based on a unified dataset. For now, the visualizations allow to explore the number of issues by issue type over time as well as the time to resolution of issues by issue type over time. You can see, for example, that the time it takes to resolve bugs has peaked in 2014 and since decreased again a little bit. You can drill down and explore the data in more detail by selecting facets that the visualizations will adapt to. In this way, it is possible to identify potentially difficult features and issues and see how the development and bug fixing process develops over time. Thank you for your attention.